Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into a complete ammo guide for you guys in New World MMO. We did hear a lot of complaints regarding ammo when it came to New World. Muskets specifically, if you were trying to level a musket, it was pretty expensive. I'm going to cover why that is. I'm also going to cover how to actually craft some of these different ammos that are available to you guys out in the open world. I want to say to start off right now, we do have a flint arrow, right? Level one, tier one. So this is very, very easy to craft. It's actually craftable at the camp. And you can actually jump in here and we can see that it's dropped and gathered by so many different things. However, the biggest thing is the crafting recipe. So it's five flint, two green wood, and three feathers. This is why crafting arrows is so, so easy. There is a tier one arrow and it's very, very easy to make. Anyone can do it. If we actually jump back though, we can see that how hard it is to craft, you know, that tier two beginner really cartridge for the musket. So here we see the iron cartridge. We can see that's gathered from pretty much the same amount of things, dropped by the same amount of things. However, the crafting recipe is going to be a little bit harder and that's because it's gonna require gunpowder. So what is gunpowder? Gunpowder is going to be a little bit harder to craft because of the saltpeter. So what you're gonna see here is a little map that uh, kind of explains where saltpeter is. I have saltpeter selected right now. So Everfall, we're gonna see a ton of it up here in the top left if you start in Everfall. Uh, Monarchs has a bunch of it just randomly placed around. I will say for the most part, these are in definitely caves for the most part. Like I said, uh, this Everfall cave is stacked with it. You can see it here. So if you're getting an Everfall, um, you know, if you start never fall, maybe because that is a starting spot, starting zone, you could definitely just run up to this top left. It is going to be higher level mobs, I think, uh, for the most part, probably about level 15, I believe. But uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing these saltpeter runs, that it is good to just do a full run. You're going to have a ton of saltpeter, and you're able to either sell it on the market for a lot of money because a lot of people are going to be requesting that gunpowder for uh, bullets. But, you know, for the most part, saltpeter is fairly easy to get. You can actually, like I said, very easily look it up on a New World map. I'm on newworld-map.com right now myself. And you can see that, you know, whether you start in Colorless Keys, there's some right here. Whether you start in First Light, let's say, um, so this is the settlement. There's a little bit right there, a little bit right here, but for the most part, you're going to have to go all the way down to here, which you could take this little path for, um, and you'll see that saltpeter right there in that cave. And then you could also see, let's say you start in Windsward. Windsward has just a little bit as well. If you just go straight um, south, East, that would be. You can actually jump in here and you're going to see a lot of saltpeter in this little cave area as well. So, every starting zone does have saltpeter. I would say Monarchs is maybe the worst spot for saltpeter just because you have to, um, you know, there's really not very many big stack, uh, stacks of it. So, you can get a ton of it and just do that one run. Uh, Everfall is kind of rough as well because you, like I said, have to go to like a 15 level zone probably. I don't know exactly what level that uh, area is up there, but I believe it's about 15. Um, 12 to 15, I'd say. But, you know, for the most part, you are going to be able to get saltpeter pretty much anywhere you go. And if you spawn in Everfall, you could always just walk down to this Monarch's Bluffs area as well. So it's all available to you guys to make that gunpowder. I do want to talk about some of the multipliers when it, regarding these arrows as well. So we have Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4, as well as Tier 5 arrows. Uh, some of these are special arrows. So we're also going to, you know, not really talk about Azoth arrows. We're not going to talk too much about Acrylium arrows as well because these are only in sieges and outpost rush but the open world arrows start with the flint arrow so we talked about flint arrow being you know very easy to craft that's why arrows uh well really bows are so easy to level really in the beginning of the game you know when it does release there's so much less muskets um you know being able to be shot because there's not very many cartridges on the market and there's also very 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 much more expensive than uh you know the arrows the the cartridges are so because, like I said, there's only tier two, there is no tier one cartridge. I also want to talk about really the, you know, the multiplier. So if we actually jump back to, uh, I believe it's, let me see if I can find it here. If we go back right here. This is where we're going to want to go. And we're going to see the flint arrow has a times one damage modifier. We also have iron arrow at point, or sorry, 1.05. We have the next arrow, steel arrow at 1.1. We have star metal arrow at 1.15. And then we have, like I said, um, what would be the open world arrow, I believe, would be, let me check that again, just to make sure here. We do have the um, Acrylium arrow. So the Acrylium arrow is going to be that uh, one that's not in siege, that's not in um, 
well, really it's an acrylium cartridge. So the arrow specifically would be the acrylium arrow down here. Uh, let's take a look though. Acrylium arrow would actually end up being a 1.2 times multiplier. If we actually take a look at musket, and this is why musket scales so well, by the way, as well as arrows and uh, bows, because of these really ammo coming as a modifier as well. We see the uh, iron cartridge at times one. We see the steel cartridge at point, or sorry, 1.00 or I guess 1.066, as I can't talk there, but we also see the star metal cartridge at 1.132, and then we see the acrylium cartridge at 1.2. So these are all gonna be 1.2, whether it's the acrylium cartridge in the open world or the acrylium cartridge in sieges or uh, you know the Azoth bullets. So 1.2 is the max on bullets. And then we also have, like I said, arrows maxing out at 1.2 as well. So I did kind of give you guys a brief understanding of how to craft uh, you know, really those early game arrows as well as those early game cartridges. It is a little bit harder, like I said, definitely harder to craft those cartridges. So do expect those to be on the market for fairly expensive amounts in the beginning because people are going to want to level up, you know, their favorite weapon. And if that's a musket, they're going to do whatever it takes to get those bullets. So keep that in mind. Uh, I also want to say, guys, if we jump over to this database over here, you can see that, you know, there are different level requirements. So we have the steel arrow at level 20 and steel cartridge at level 20. We have the star metal cartridge level 40, star metal arrow at level 40, and then level 60, you can start using that uh, tier five uh, arrow or tier five bullet. So just keep that in mind. Obviously in Outpost Rush, it looks like tier 40 or level 45, you can start using them, but you know, to actually use Outpost Rush or get in Outpost Rush, you do have to be level 60. So level 60 is required for tier five. Um, you know, for the most part, you can find this stuff, you know, you can find arrows, you can find bullets in a lot of these cartridges. If we actually take a look, you can see the ingredients being feathers, ironwood planks, and ingots for the Acrylium Arrow T5. And that's going to be much easier, like I said, than getting bullets. And I want to kind of stress that a lot. You know, in the beginning, expect to pay quite a bit on release. We saw this with beta. Muskets were having to pay quite a bit to actually level it up. It didn't really become much of a factor later on in the game. Later on, I would say, you know, a week or two in, bullets were not really that expensive anymore. You could actually, you know, just sell your saltpeter. You could go do the saltpeter, uh, you know, maybe gather that alone sell that on the market and then just buy bullets. It would kind of pay for itself right there um, because people are always looking to level up. So they're buying that saltpeter to craft those bullets, to sell the bullets, and they don't really care about the profit. They're all about that EXP or um, XP. So that's just my kind of guide on ammo. Obviously, Fire Staff, Ice Gauntlet, you're just going to take mana. There's going to be no ammo involved with those. That's why I people really kind of love those right now. We will definitely do an updated ammo guide if we do see something like a blunderbuss coming into play that we saw in our leaks video. Uh, you know, just a lot to really talk about when it comes to New World. And I'm going to continue to try to put all these little guides out there talking about New World because, you know, there's really not many days left before we get our release. Just a little bit over a month. And a lot of people are starting to get very, very antsy and excited. So I just want to keep you guys up to date with some of the New World content and give you guys a little bit of guide on the ammo itself. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.